didn't know what to play, so we're back with the sequel. I think it'll be interesting to see. I think it'll be interesting to see just uh, how much is reused and how much is different. But at least we have the girl option to begin with here. Um, do we can go with katakana or hiragana? I was gonna say there's got to be some English characters. Here we go. <clears throat> Goal. Oh, we have different symbols as well. Oh, we do have the level, of course. Obviously, we're going to be Joel level 2 for the sequel. Alright, beautiful. Joel level 2 loves collecting Pokemon cards. Joel level 2 came to this island seeking the legendary Pokemon cards. Eight club masters guarded the way to the Grand Masters, and the four Grand Masters protected the legendary cards. After many card duels, Joel level 2 beat the Grand Masters. The four legendary cards were finally inherited by a new master duelist. And one day, something terrible had happened. This is like a little more... A little more story going on here. <clears throat> Got the tractor beam. Mysterious group suddenly attacked. Called themselves Team Great Rocket or Team GR. Team GR attacked the island's cards, the island's card clubs, and stole all of their cards. Same world map, of course. <clears throat> Except we've got the GR base. Even Joel Level 2's cards were stolen. You must notify Dr. Mason about these Pokemon card thieves. Let's go to Dr. Mason's lab immediately. As soon as we're done spinning in place. Whoa, if it isn't Joel Level 2. It's Ronald. Remember me? I'm your longtime. So, I guess can canonically, we're supposed to be the same character from the first game. Joel Level 2, do you have any Pokemon cards on you? Oh, Team Great Rocket stole them? I better check them out to stay one step ahead of you. By the way, I think Dr. Mason wants to speak to you. Well, then, see you, Joel Level 2. Oh, thank heavens, you're safe, Joel Level 2. Awful. A group called Team Great Rocket or Team GR invaded. This island's clubs were attacked one by one. Everyone's cards were stolen and many club members were kidnapped. Holy shit. Team GR stole the legendary Pokemon cards from the Grand Masters, too. Please help us get the cards back from those villains. Do you accept the request? No. I beg you, we need your help. Ronald can't do it alone. Please. Right. Since I took your cards, you'll need a replacement deck. That way you can use your deck to battle with others. Take this deck. Luckily it wasn't stolen by Team GR. We got a starter deck. And a minicom. That mini computer is a handy tool that helps organize your cards. It can list your card collection, check mail, and even record decks. All record decks are sent to our lab's deck record record machines, too. Counting on you to get everyone's cards back. So we don't get a choice. What does our deck have? We had three starter decks last time. It's a firefighting deck. Damn, son, no choice, huh? That's kind of stinky. If you'd like to save your game, first press the start button, then choose Diary from the menu and select Yes. You'll be able to return to 
the game, the last place you saved. Save your game often. Long time no see, Joel Level 2. It's me, Tech Sam. Have a practice tool with Sam? If you ever need to relearn the basics, come at any time. Here, whenever you'd like to have a beginner's training duel. So the nice thing about the assumption that we played the first game is that we have no tutorial. Lab layout's a little bit different. The room to the right holds the lab's computers and deck machines. These include our deck record and automatic deck machines. The auto deck machines are for players who have some experience. If you're looking for training, try the room on the left. Dr. Mason created it for players new to the Pokemon trading card game. You ought to try it out at least once though. I believe there are eight different card clubs on the island. Fighting water, lightning, grass, psychic, fire, rock, and science. However, they seem to be closed due to, to Team GR's attacks. When you win card duels, you'll be rewarded with booster packs. Each booster pack has 10 cards. The cards you can receive depend on the type of booster pack. Each booster pack will contain random cards from its series. Since Team GR took all your cards, you'll have to get new ones. If you don't win duels, you'll never rebuild your collection. Check over here real quick just to see. I kind of don't want to do the tutorial, but if it gets me cards, it might be worth doing. It was built to help tutor players of the Pokemon card game. Start your training at step one. You must start with step one first. Would you like to try it? Woohoo, you're free to do what you please. Our doors are open at any time you seek training. I'm available for some duels against you whenever you like. This training room has recently been... This training room was recently built for Dr. Mason's pupils. Please feel free to practice duels here whenever you like. Several steps in our training program for you to try. This controller I'm using is a little finicky on the inputs. Pull up. We want to do this fast. Oh shit! Do we always have these window settings? That might be new. Coins. Oh, we can choose different coins! Fuck, that's pretty good. Apparently there's a lot of them. Alright, let's save. Our cute little portrait. You mailbox. You have no new mail. So now we can link whenever whenever we want. I wonder if they've just taken all the computers out, because there used to be... Oh, I guess PCs just look differently, too. Oh my god, dude, we can get... we can print our deck list? Is that what that's about? This is awesome. Status. Currently using the Chansey coin. Cool. Check to the right here real quick. This automatic deck machine works wonders. When you have all the cards needed to make a deck, this machine will automatically create the deck for you. The more opponents you defeat, the more decks the machine can build. Come revisit it after dueling some new opponents. Hey, Joel Level 2, this device is our deck record machine. It saves records for any deck that you've made for yourself. Once recorded, a deck can be rebuilt anytime you like. That is really convenient as well. That was something that we were disincentivized from building new decks because uh, we didn't have that nice little feature there. It's also linked to your minicom, so you can use it whenever you like. Team Great Rocket seems to have come from another island. They supposedly use cards that even we have not seen before. Before, wonder where on earth, earth they've come from. Dr. Mason invented the automatic deck building machine. Even if you don't have all the cards you need, you will build a deck. Missing cards will be replaced by others in your collection. However, you must have enough cards available to make a full deck. I guess we'll try step one just to see what it's about. And over to table one. If we don't get a reward from this, we're not gonna continue. 
Yeah, 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 we know how it works. We'll use the lab's practice decks. All right. <clears throat> Do not shuffle the deck. <clears throat> Is it basic Pokemon? I do love me some Sea King, gotta say. Alright, we know what we're doing here. Oh, we got the Japanese backs, of course. Nice. Chancy coin. <clears throat> Yeah. This is having us, like, figure it out on our own. Kind of interesting. The other one was very, very, very hand-holdy. This dude's gonna body us. We gotta get used to this new deck. Oh yeah, baby, waterfall. Hell yeah. In the bag. Surely we get a prize from this, right? Potion. Some of the art is a little different. I'm almost positive. Like that header where it says Pokemon? I don't think that was blue before. I guess it's possible that it was like that. Got a Bulbasaur and a Spiro. I mean, we do win this DPS race here. Can eat one more jab. Yeah, that's fine. God damn, man. Not finding anything. Hound. Not really worth investing the energy in, I don't think. Watch us find a dragon air immediately in our prizes. Nope. Bulbasaur into Ivysaur. Look at that new art. There's a new Spiro as well. health do we have? 40 only? Yikes. We're gonna lose! Okay, that's a little bit better. Let me see this. Scratch and Ember. We didn't use any fire Pokemon, so I'm gonna have to familiarize myself with this. Flamethrower's a discard. It's 50 damage though, it's pretty nice. A little slow going now that we're we don't have our sea king. All right, Machop. We do win eventually here as well. Of course, we will bill it up. All right, now we've at least got some options here. Slash is three energy. Twenty damage bite. It's not half bad, honestly. Let's see. What's our retreat cost? It is one. An ember. Ember is a discard, unfortunately. But we could pop this guy. Hmm. I think we'll just stay in. We can evolve next turn. I played my energy, right? I hope to fucking god I didn't mess that up. Damn, son. So many bills. 
Professor Oak as well. Nice. Oh, yeah. We're fucking in there. Chameleon. Eradicate. Put our energy down already. Alright, what do we got? Goldeen. Rapidash. 20 damage plus 10 more damage. Otherwise, it just does 20. Prevent all attacks from effects. Attacks and effects, excuse me. Alright, um. Sure. Load the bench, why not? Ah, we do not want to retreat again. Be a little silly, to say the least. I think Charmander's just gonna sweep him. Oh yeah. Easy. Alright, well, we just pop him and uh, everything's fine. I gotta say, Flamethrower are pretty damn strong. I don't like the discard, but whatever. Now we pop this guy and we're golden. Presumably it's weak to fire. I'm not even going to check because that just makes sense. Evolve everything. It's got to be, right? Yeah. Certainly. Alright, cool. Do we get some packs, please? Third step one. All right. Well, we might as well do these. These are our little energy packs, I guess. I do want to make a Nidoran deck. The next stage is even more challenging. I wonder if we get more packs from stage two. Let's see. Let's see what the explanation is. That was focusing on like evolution, I guess. Poison sleep paralysis confusion. Make sure you think your actions over carefully. Retreating a Pokemon will cure any status ailments. Alright. So he said it's more difficult. Surely we get better better rewards. Two packs, right? Oh my god, that war turtle art. It's so vibrant. Man, this opening hand is not great. 30 HP. I do like to see a Goldeen on occasion, though. Okay. Hopefully, we can evolve that bad boy. Nice. Grimer. The art where he's looking up that girl's skirt. Got Rattata as well. No, poison gas. You fuck. We have no retreat cost though, so we can get out. <clears throat> Grass energy. Man, that kind of blows. A full heal. They're trying to show me the use. The use case of the full heal. I guess we'll put this on Magikarp. I'm not too terribly interested in, in using it very much, but whatever. Poison gas once more. They totally set that up so that we would draw that and be like, oh, let's use it. Oh my god, that's so cute. What the fuck? What is this? Bubble and surf? 
Bubble has a chance of paralysis. What does our Squirtle look like? Bite and Skull Bash. Alright, um... So if we stay in, we're gonna get fucked here. Let's do this, and then we will retreat. Is this just ten times the damage counters? Yes, okay. So we can deal 20 damage at max when we're about to die. Tragic. Oh my god. You annoying bastard! Sticky hands. This attack does 10 damage plus 20 more damage and it paralyzes. About to one shot me. Ooh. Could have been nasty. We gotta get this war portal. Go in here. We don't have the water energy for it though, do we? Fuck. Right? Yeah, we have one. We're better off just putting a fire on this guy and keeping him a squirtle then. Right? Or no? Maybe I did a dumb. Hold on. Yeah, because Bubble's only 10. So we can get a Skull Bash for 20. I think we're just, if Magikarp dies, we're just gonna let him die. Fuck it. whatever. We'll Skull Bash. Goodbye. Charmander, very nice. Probably put this on the Charmander, huh? That'd be a little bit smarter. Rather than just uh, throwing the rest of our turn away. Oh my god. <laughs> Interesting that they have an animation specifically for that move. And this dude's fucking big. I wonder what our retreat cost is. Take a look here. Oh my god, dude, it's like they know. We have a one retreat. And I like Goldine a lot. The free retreat is, is pretty damn nice. I would like to one-shot this guy if possible, though. Hmm. Is evolving? Here our status. I guess we're about to find out. It does. That's pretty nice. I like that quite a bit, actually. We don't need to one-shot him, we'll just, just two-shot him, it's fine. Pop the full heal, hit him with the Surf. Clean. Clean getaway. Nice. Um, having that switch is, you know, it's nice to have it in the, in the hand there, but I'd rather have the cards. Especially without an energy. On hand. Fire punch. Smog. It's a pretty interesting, uh... It's a pretty interesting... Just one energy for 20 damage, 50 HP. It's not too bad. Let's do that. Put that on Charmander just in case. In case we end up finding Charmeleon, want to blow somebody up. Oh, this dude's totally fucked. You love to see it, really. Water energy. Let's put this on here. Pop him and drop him. I actually don't know what else 
What else? I was gonna say, does he have anything on bench? No. All right, step two. Premier booster pack. So this is a lot of stuff that I'm kind of just not interested in. Because I'm going to get a bunch of these cards normally. I, I would rather have just the energy packs. Because once we start battling, you know, Team GR. Pokemon powers, alright. Once we start battling Team GR, we're going to get a bunch of rando. Like normal ass packs. 